In this episode of the Ask Bunkus show, we were asked, how do I transfer my domain name away from GoDaddy and to Namecheap? So these are two services that we do a transfer with all the time. We absolutely love Namecheap because of the cheapness of their uh, products. They're usually around 10 bucks for a domain name, and when you renew it, it's usually around 10 bucks. GoDaddy, they'll do the same thing, but they raise the price. So if you get get in for eight or nine dollars, you're then at 15 bucks a year later. And this really does add up over time. So we'll start at GoDaddy with our domain name and we're gonna move it to Namecheap. We'll walk you through the whole process. If you have questions like this um, while running your WordPress business, go ahead over to our website, pressavenue.com and you can ask us a question via our ask question form. Additionally, you could ask them below in the comments and we'll try to get back to you. And for burning questions or anything else, we'll email you back or make a video just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so to continue the move, we're gonna go log in and go to the domain manager. There's a new domain manager that's very simple and clean, and this is it. But when it comes to moving, you actually wanna to switch to the old version, which is a table. And the reason is, it now shows us additional information like when it expires, if it's active, does it auto renew, the lock, the privacy, et cetera. If you have this box checked here, the privacy, you do need to go in and turn it off before you continue. So I've never gotten it in the past, so go ahead and turn yours off, um, so that won't be in this video. And then it says lock, so you see lock, it has to be unlocked in order to move it. So I'm gonna click edit, and then I'm gonna turn the lock off, and then they say it could take it's funny, this says 15 minutes, but their help section says it takes up to an hour. I've actually had it take even longer. So you wanna verify that it has been locked via email before we then go to Namecheap and start our transfer process. So Namecheap will um, check GoDaddy and see if it's locked. If it is, it'll reject you from even doing this process. So we'll wait just a minute. All right, so to confirm, we just got this email. Um, I've had it take longer in the past, but this came super quick. It just says the domain or domains you're monitoring just got unlocked. Here it is here. You can sign in and check this out. So now that it's unlocked, the last thing you'll verify is that the um, admin on this account, so the contacts, are being sent to you. So you got to make sure that the email that's listed is a email that you can receive. So if you've added a support email or if it's someone else's email, just make sure that it's an email that you receive um, so you can go through this process. So there's my email right there. I'll probably blur it out. Um, and that one does come to me. So that's it for this. So now I'm gonna go over to Namecheap. I'll go to domains and then transfer just to show you. And I'll type in the domain name. And I'll click transfer, and I believe it just pings GoDaddy to see if that um, is unlocked. So it says here, current registrar, GoDaddy, registrar lock, domain is unlocked. If it is not unlocked and it hasn't cleared, it'll stop you at this process and you can't continue. Um, they do charge $9.69 at the time of this video, which I think has gone down 30 cents. Um, and then the next bit is says, will retrieve your domain's contact information from the Whois database. Then the next one is the authorization code. So we go back to GoDaddy, and it says, get my authorization code. And it says, we've sent it to your email. So again, if you don't have access to your email or the email that's listed there, um, you really do need it in this process. So we'll go check our email. Um, I always feel like they slow this down because uh, they don't want you to leave. So I got my authorization code. I go back to the transfer and I paste it in. And then I add it to the cart. So what's nice about this transfer is the 969 gets me um, the transfer plus one year from now. So I get an additional year that I'm adding. Uh, you'll see here we have the who is guard is enabled and it's free forever. That's fantastic. And I'm actually gonna add I can't, I guess I'll add years later. Uh, promo code, so we'll go to 
namechief.com slash promos and we'll see if any of these work. All right, so there's a promo this month for the registration, so it's thankful. And then I've simply signed into my account, which I already have with Namecheap. And then I apply the promo. And then it says it's been successful. So now my transfer is down to $8.84 plus the ICANN fee of 18. So I'm at $9.02. So if I renewed this with GoDaddy, I'd be at 15. It's so already have a savings right there. So again, five, six bucks. But if you have hundreds of domains, that's five or six hundred dollars you could be saving, uh, which is fantastic. Um, so they have other things like email and SSLs, etc. But today I'm just doing the transfer. So I click confirm, and then it says we're using your payment method that's already on file. That's great. Pay now. All right, so it's authorizing the payment. And then there we go. Thank you for your purchase. So next we want to go to manage. And then you'll see agentavenue.com is with another registrar, which is GoDaddy. And then it says transfer will begin shortly. All right, I warned you, this process is lengthy. Uh, so I got an email from GoDaddy saying your domain transfer is ready to go. But then they put in, but you can still stop it. Um, and that's great. So it says sign into your account, which I'm already there. Um, so it says transfer pending. Um, do you want to accept or decline? So the status has not started, accept or decline the change. So I click that link. I say I want to accept and I hit OK. Um, so that's just one of the check boxes that we go through. So it says accept or decline. Your request has been submitted. Now wait 15 more minutes. So it's a good time to go get some coffee and then we'll be right back. All right, uh, again, it's going a little faster than anticipated. So hopefully that's the case for you. I got two emails from GoDaddy. So one says an important notice regarding your transfer. And it says, uh, this is to confirm that the following domains has been successfully transferred away from GoDaddy to another registrar. There's the domain. Then you get another email saying, I'm sorry to see you go. We're not gonna lie, we'd hate to see you go. If this was a mistake, give us a call. And then lastly, if you're interested, we can offer prices as low as $7.99. But we didn't do that before, but it's uh, on some domains, asterisks, and then you can see it all here. Um, so they do lower at 20%, uh, which is great. And then they cut it in half just to keep you around. Um, so if you're interested in that, you do have to call them and talk to somebody, um, but that is there. So now we're going to go back to Namecheap and refresh our status. All right, so the refresh then shows this. Share access, transfer, change ownership, etc. But it no longer says it's at another registrar. Um, so you'll see I can go to the domain, I can add products, I can transfer, I can share, I can do the advanced DNS. But it's all done and it's all here within Namecheap in... Uh, I don't know, we're just shy of an hour, I believe. Um, so I can just double check that. So to show you here, um, the registration is from today, November 8th through December 4th, 2019. The reason it's more than a year is it originally expired December 4th through GoDaddy. They gave me an additional year um, beyond that expiration day, even though I've transferred this now a month, a little shy of a month before it expired. So that's kind of great. I didn't realize that. Then the Whois Guard um, is good for this amount of time, but it's free forever now, which is really great. I also just got this email from Namecheap saying that it's actually complete, has the order ID, the username, etc. Um, so they do verify it through an email as well if you're not sitting there refreshing it the whole time. If you liked this video and it was helpful to you, I would love a thumbs up. Additionally, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the little bell next to it to see more great videos just like this. If it was helpful in any way, or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. All right, additionally, you can visit our website, pressavenue.com. Right at the top, it says, ask a question. Um, you can go ahead and fill this out and we'll answer your questions via YouTube. We've had a lot of great questions. Some of them we haven't answered YouTube, we just written them back and sent them how to do it. But that's where a lot of these videos come from is from this question box here. Thank you so much for watching.